on air, folks. We are here, back for another episode. It's been a bit. It's been a few weeks. A yes. weeks, two, three weeks. I what did we weeks. have? We had Easter one weekend, so we just, honestly, we just didn't do it because we had Easter events to do. Yep. And we only have a the baby for so long, so we're trying to, like, you know, do the most that we can with them. That's right. And then... The weekend after that. What happened this past Friday, Ryan? What happened? Oh, we didn't have power. Oh, yeah. We had a storm. That's right. Yes. Yeah. We really got to do better about like staying ahead of the game Mm. with our recordings in case of things like that happen. But um, Thursday, we had a snow day. I'm sure everyone's kind of aware of the big blizzard that came by. Was it a blizzard? Northeastern? Whatever it was. Um. But it wasn't so much the snow, but a lot of wind, a lot of trees down, and we got a lot of damage in our area, and we lost power from Thursday morning. We both didn't have work. Uh, So we were like, oh, we'll do a podcast today. Perfect, (laughs) because usually that's the latest that we do them. And then... Out goes the power. Out goes the power. For those of you who joined us live, where were we live? Uh, Oh, probably none of you, but... Oh, we, yeah, we're, we were live on uh, TikTok. Oh, we did TikTok. I've never done TikTok like live before and or at all, actually. And yeah, look yeah. at that. We were TikTok live for a little bit. And whoever gave us that recommendation to bring the baby bowling to you, my friend, I owe probably a day of my life. Most likely that was just some random dude on TikTok that just stumbled across our... <laughs> I don't... I am grateful for that. They were like, oh, you should go bowling. Person. We're like, eh, that's a good At idea. At first we're like, what? what? We're not going to go bowl. We don't bowl. And then it's like, <laughs> we look over at our son eating French fries with ketchup on his face. And we realized there was um, not bowling, but like candle pin not too far from us. And we're like, perfect. Yeah. A warm place. Some kind of activity the baby can run around in and something to kill time. It was a good time. Perfect. It was fun. He actually really liked it other than it was like around nap time and we're trying to stay away from the house because we had no heat. So nap time didn't exactly happen. Yeah. But anyway, um, I want to say a quick thank you and welcome to um, a lot of new people on the channel. Uh, We uh, amazingly are... England video that we put out about a month ago now. Our big travel across the pond. Our big travel pond. across the pond video is getting like a ton of views and a lot of new people are coming in. We gotta, mostly mostly from England. We got to do more like a day of the life. I still like doing the podcast. Don't get me wrong. For Ryan and I, it's just kind of a nice like sit down. Like mm-hmm. once we're here, sometimes it's stressful being like, what are we going to talk about and blah, blah, blah. But once we're here, it's kind of like, oh, good. Yeah. And we like doing it. But I think we should do more like what we used to just record, like kind of the day in the lives or vacations or, you know. I, I really enjoyed things. making the travel video. That was fun. Well, when you don't have to work for a week and everything's on your time, whether you have to make a video or not, it's right. like, right. Hi. Just filmed everything. Yes. But it's crazy. Yeah, that video is doing better than like <laughs> videos else? on our main channel, which is crazy. Oh. Um, but yeah, so uh, welcome to yes, um the new you. viewers and most of you i i believe are british you know, which is awesome yeah you know what i found uh, out too from a patient i haven't told you this but i talked to dad actually typically every wednesday um when possible i talk to the family over there and anyway i was talking to a patient of mine that just so happens to be born in england and came here when he was i think he said 38 30 something and he oh, was wow. saying about over there, you can call somebody like an old geezer and it's not like an so offensive thing. An and here no. we're like, oh, that's not nice. You don't say those things. Yeah, you don't call somebody an and old geezer. And so he was telling me, oh, when you talk to your dad, say hello, you old geezer. And I'm like, mm, no, I don't think I'm going to say that. <laughs> did you? <laughs> no, but oh. I did tell him. I, I told him the story about how a patient and, he, and they're like, yeah, that's just how I guess it's more from what I understood he friendly. said that it's more like guy to guy, like a okay. that you would say to a familiar guy, right, right? But it's not like a, you know, just like something you say to a stranger. Yes, or, yes, yeah, or refer sense. to a stranger. Like here, typically when we use it, it's not. It's like you're either trying to hold back from swearing at an elderly person, mm-hmm. 
or I don't know. I, I don't really say it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah. that was my fun British fact I learned yesterday. And then he was saying, the patient was saying, oh, now that you went there, I guess I'm going to have to go because my mom's going to be at me. I'm like, she's not going to know we went. So it's <laughs> like, don't worry about it. Um, no, I can't wait to go back. Yeah. I don't know when exactly. We haven't really made those arrangements yet. But Oh, well, uh, over there, have they have some ideas. I'm sure. They're hoping yeah. for, um, I told them probably the end of April. And they're really hoping it's April into May because uh, somebody has a plan I don't know what it is, but some kind of plan for us at the beginning of May. Maybe okay. you um, UK viewers could kind of let me know what is special about like May 1st. Yeah. Because there's some kind of event May 1st, I guess, okay. that's over there. Um, don't know what it is, but that's what he's kind of hoping for. And, you know, it's just he he has the plan in his head already about what days we're coming, like the day of the week we're going to come and then when we're going to go home. He did say we're going to go home on a Friday again, which is nice. But having us it's go nice a having little earlier day, yeah. on the week, mm -hmm. like on okay, the Wednesday right. go over or yeah. something. Or so I like don't know if it was Tuesday or night or the Wednesday go over. Like we did, we went for a week this past trip, but it was like, it, it did go really fast. It's interesting because I was much more ready to come home than Ryan was. Like on the last day, I'm like, oh, we get to go home tomorrow. And Ryan's like. Yeah, but that's because you oh. knew it was the day to go home. Like if you didn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but if I didn't know I was going home, yeah, like if if we weren't going home on that day, you wouldn't have been like, "I'm ready to go home." You know what I mean? Oh, I just, but that's how I am about everything. Right. Like I'm always a planner ahead. Like and I'm I always think trying you're gonna to do, ahead, do things ahead feel the of time. same way if we go longer. That last day, you're gonna oh, be like, "I'm yeah. ready to go home." Yeah, like, that's how yeah. I am for any vacation. Right. We yeah. could we could be down the street at a hotel literally right next I'm door and i'll be home. like oh <laughs> tomorrow we're going home let me pack my bags yeah but no but excited to go back really enjoyed the country so yeah again thank you guys for for watching you have an amazing country really enjoy it and can't wait to come back i just want to add one more thing go ahead i am also the opposite because the day because the thursday before i was like i want to make sure everything is packed and ready to go same thing that i do when i'm there except mm -hmm. You know, because I'll be like, we're leaving tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. You well, know what I mean? But I feel like I get a little bit more excited to come back because it's familiar. Yeah. And my routine. And we all know I like that stuff. Oh, yeah. So we have uh, totally off topic. We have uh, a new sign that you saw. I flicked on <laughs> there at the beginning of the. Not exactly completely off topic because here it is. We're on the air. Time. We actually got a contractor that's going to be helping us redo our room as we had promised you guys. Yeah. Multiple times. So he uh, was like, you guys need this sign. They just brought it, threw he, it up on the wall. Yeah. He actually helped downstairs for some stuff. Yeah. Who is absolutely awesome because the days that he comes, the baby is pretty worn out and he does great with the baby as well. So, but he came up and put up this sign and then he goes, Oh no, we need to fix this room. <laughs> and I'm so like, yeah, go do what you want. I don't care. He's got some ideas. He's got some, some new things to bring in here. Um, There's some better probably going to be moving away from this wall. I would assume. I believe we're going to head over. We're going to go the other side of the room. So yep, get which away I think from the windows. It, it would be better over there. Yes. But, uh, yeah, We'll leave it a surprise. We won't elaborate too much, but yeah, we have. Uh... I will. I have no idea what's going on. I just know it's on the opposite <laughs> side. Right. Yeah. No, but he's got some things in the works. It. It'll be cool. So, uh, shout out to. Can we say his name? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Eric. I know you're watching. Eric um, with a C and a K. Get it. That's right. right. E R I C K. Yes. Shout out Eric uh, don't, for don't this leave cool one sign. Of those out. I love this sign. It. It's really cool. Ryan was pretty, he's like, yeah. that's pretty sick. And it I was like, cool. I knew you'd like it. I didn't know he was going to put it up that day. And it can be either battery pack or wired. So mm -hmm. yeah, surprise. Yep. Also, another fun surprise. I just want to let you know, um, you are a sleeve of Girl Scout cookies down. Well, that's fine. I always forget we have them because they're in like the upper cabinet. Because I remembered. Oh, yeah. You have like one sleeve left, okay. but I promise this is the only one that I got to. They're better in the freezer, especially Thin Mints. When they're warm, they're not as good, in my opinion. They've been in my pocket and I still say they taste pretty delicious. Yeah. No, they're good. They're good. But... I didn't think of how this was going to react to like me trying to talk. In the mic. <laughs> so I apologize, but it's literally all in my mouth. So we're just. I feel like to... it's a common 
practice. I, I could be wrong because I know other people that do it as well. But if you don't put your Thin Mints, Girl Scouts cookies in the freezer, you're missing out. They're so much better in the freezer. So I'd like to shout out Molly, our dealer. Thanks. <laughs> Thank yeah, Lonnie, you very much, Lonnie's Molly. Right? Molly. Yeah, Molly. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Molly. <laughs> Every year I try to buy some cookies from her. Hmm? Every year I try to buy some cookies from, from her. Every year you do. I just never know when I find your stash, like how long it's been there. <laughs> <laughs> how many it started with. Yeah. They're great. Mm. So, anyway. I wanted to mention about the... The food that we saw. The that food. little thing that I showed you. Yes. Okay. About British. Where's here? Where's French, I guess. Oh. And why, like, okay. apparently, yeah, maybe you can explain so, it like, better than I can. When you think about meat that comes from a cow, what is that called? Delicious. It is. Okay. Don't even give what? me those eyes. It is. No, you're you right. Know I but like what, steak. what is it called? Come on. You what is it know. called? It is called. Oh, beef. Okay. Okay. Have... It did take me a sec. I knew you wanted me to say beef originally, but yeah, I then know. I just started thinking about hamburger <laughs> delicious. And, and, <laughs> and steak. And when you marinate it with the. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Delicious. Then when you like mix it with the garlic and butter. And garlic and, and butter and rosemary and rosemary. just baste it with. Uh, with butter and yeah, yeah no. Yeah, sear it. You. Sear it both sides. Sear it. Do a revert maybe a reverse sear. Ooh, that's that's getting fancy. I don't know. As long as you cook it and it's still some pink. I like it to be some like medium rare. I wanna see anything a bit above of medium in there. you deserve jail. Um That's not nice. Don't say that because your mom <laughs> likes hockey pucks for her beef. Well, no, that's for burgers. How does she like her steak? I do not I d I don't I don't know. I guarantee you it probably has no pink in it okay i'll check with her tomorrow but i'm I'm guessing and i I don't think we're down with a we're not gonna let saint eileen go to jail i I can get down with a well-done burger um i think that's fine it's a little drier but it depends because you put butter all in the he goes like puts globs of butter within the burgers (laughs) that he cooks he gets all fancy and i'm gonna die from like smash burgers, for if it exam- is bad, for example, yeah, smash burgers are like basically burnt to a crisp hamburger, and those are great. Miss Sharon was asking if you made smash burgers on Monday when I told her we had burgers on Monday outside on no, the grill. No, they weren't. They weren't smash burgers. No, I know. But anyway, back to what we were talking about. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. was a that was sorry. A tangent. So cows, you think beef? Cows beef. The meat. What do you call pig meat? Pork. Pork. What do you call? lamb which whenever I, I think of the pork i think of those little worm things that we saw yeah nasty oh. what do you what do you call lamb well i, I don't, don't call it this, or sheep but, or sheep i think it was sheep and i i if somebody said something about sheep i didn't even know that we really eat sheep is that the same as lamb lamb is a baby sheep i thought okay yeah i mean that, yeah it's not as common here i eating, thought eating lamb that. was a baby sheep. Lam- lamb a little bit but sheep mm. um, mutton Mutton. Yeah. Never heard of that before in my life. So Mutton. for 300 years, France controlled. We saw this in a video. So correct yeah. us if we're wrong. Fun. But we, this is we a think European this is, fact, it says. We, we're going off so Facebook, let us know. Facebook news here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's legit. <laughs> or Facebook facts. Uh, but we saw it France, and we know that a lot more British people were watching. So I just figured while we have your attention and you're sticking with us for a minute, we, we would ask. Yeah. I should have asked Dave today, but I didn't. During the Anglo-Saxon era. Because we were all alive the, then. Yeah. <laughs> the Fran- the French controlled mm. the region mm. for about 300 years. And the upper class ate all of those things. They ate beef. They ate pork. And they ate uh, mutton or lamb or sheep, whatever it is. Yep. And that's what they use for names. They use like the upper class. So instead class, of saying like, cow, right? They we are having beef. They had a uh, yep. like a more elegant name for it or whatever. Now with chicken, rabbit, and turkey, that was the lower class of people that ate that stuff. So they didn't have special names for those foods. They just kept because it with what, chicken. M- me and my rabbit. people aren't like smart enough to come up with. 
Additionally, well, no, it, it, it's just a it's just it it's just a class pie. a class thing. Like, yeah, yeah, it makes it sound ritzy. So right. then us over here, we just adopted that. Mm-hmm. But interesting fact that you brought up. Do you want to mention it, or do you want me to? Go ahead. Um, about chicken oh. and how here in the u.s we call it poultry poultry yeah. and then we were trying to remember if while we were over in england if anybody or if we heard or at the store we didn't go to too many stores but if there was anything that said poultry poultry yeah compared to just i chicken. mean poultry is kind of used in the sense of like basically Any just bird? the gro- yeah but like just the growth like if you cook chicken at home or you you're cooking a, a meal that is chicken. You're not going to say, "Oh, we're having poultry tonight." Like I you don't will tomorrow. You don't or say next time that I cook the you chicken. You know what I mean, though. You don't. You don't say that normally. You say chicken. Yeah, that wouldn't be considered poultry. Is kind of used as like a generalization. Yeah, like I um, wish we knew this before. I would have taught the baby to say poultry instead of chicken. <laughs> it's it's used in like the grocery store where the the chicken is, and they might have like duck or turkey. I think that's where the turkey well. is, is in the poultry Probably, section. Probably, yeah. Like, I thought poultry, to me before this, I thought poultry just meant like bird. But I don't know where, Baby I don't know where the, the word poultry comes from. I don't know if that's... French. Kind of sounds like a French word, doesn't it? Yes. I don't know. And then, Let us know in the comments if you know the answer to that one. And then um, kind of on that topic, but kind of swerving a little bit, there were some other random facts that we found that were kind of like the lies amongst food industry and or companies. or not just, not just food, food just I guess. corporate in general yes and one of the things just talking about the meat they were talking about in the uk that they got in trouble was it burger king or mcdonald's it wasn't just the uk it was europe oh in and europe. this was back oh, okay. in 20, 2013 forgive me i just in my heart uk is the whole thing it's yeah well, that's um, a good portion of it. <laughs> but they were saying that, what, what was the the store though? Burger King. Burger King. So Burger King was actually using <laughs> horse meat opposed to <laughs> beef. Again, for this their is burgers. Facebook news. We did not verify these claims. We're no, just going no. by a video on Facebook. This is, but this is why I'm, I'm just wondering, do you guys know about this? Because I feel like... I think that is true though. I remember I, hearing that. I feel like in, in Europe... They know their history so much better than if you ask somebody on the street here. I've seen some of those videos and us in the U.S. don't look so hot. Mm -mm. Like how many hours are in a day? Do you want to know how many people this person asked on the street and they didn't know how many hours? Somebody said eight. Eight hours in a day. Horrible. Anyway. But just like little. Yes. Yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of scary. Or how many five-minute how... increments are in an hour? It literally says, like, it's like the 12 that's on the face of a clock. Right. There's 12 five-minute increments in an hour. And they're like, mm, 24. <laughs> That no 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 my dears no hmm. these are the things that I like keep in the back of my head so I can make sure BL knows them <laughs> like just to, I don't know anyway but I feel like in England everybody knows so much of the history and so much you know even the gentleman that we saw doing the uh, window washing that we spoke to he knew about the whole movie thing and about like. The history, even with yeah. the movie, verse just in that street and why they picked that street specifically, and all the people. Like I don't know, I just feel like it's. It seems like nice. people are there are more educated. Yes. <laughs> generally, generally, yes. yeah. Or even I mean, just nice. Maybe here people just don't want to be bothered with other people, or don't really have any data to just back that throw, up. Just yeah, just basically throw seems like that. But anyway, in comparison, you'd have to go and see and experience but but so yeah they had that piece of fun fact what were some of the other ones with um that? the other ones were um the sketcher shape ups remember the, oh, those, those shoes thick shoes that were almost like you could like yeah they look like you're walking on like a banana or something <laughs> 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 mm, I don't know but they happens. claimed that walking like in those shoes burn more calories than walking in like a traditional shoe mm. 
Mm. which is not true at all. And they actually, what, $40 million they had to pay because of the fees cl- uh, false claims? It, yeah, they or lost so. a lawsuit um, resulting in $40 million settlement. I know. I don't know if it were those shoes specifically, <laughs> but crazy. the ones with that were like really thick soles, like really thick soles, the sneakers. Yeah. Because they're sneakers, people would use them to run hike do whatever but i guess there was a lot of like ankle injuries and that's also why we don't see those so much anymore oh makes so sense. i don't know if the sketchers would go along with it if the camera starts wiggling it's because the dog, dog is doing everything ryan doesn't want it to do the eh, the ankle injuries i i feel like the shape ups would be more supportive of your ankles because they're like there's more surface area and it's more stable Kind of. But the shape ups aren't stable because that's the whole thing is it triggers They're muscles like, because right. you're like. Like a banana. On a. Because you're, yeah, you're like all the time. Yeah. So it's supposed to use more muscle like consistently opposed to just walking. But Maybe. like I said, I don't know if it's the shape ups, but like those, there were these sneakers. I had a pair and they were really big and you would like maybe it was just me, but you could be more clumsy with. But it's if you did fall, if you did lose your balance. You're up higher Nike and your shocks? foot's off. Remember no, those? Um, uh, I don't know. I, I just think a bunch of people made them. It wasn't just like one oh, brand. Oh, okay. It was it just, was just, like, just a like this thicker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they still have um, like sandals that kind of have that thickness, but people aren't running and doing athletic things in sandals. Right. Where sneakers, you think, oh, I can do all this stuff. So I Oh, kind of like a clog. Remember those? Mm-hmm. Like the... Clogs just don't have the backs. Uh, oh, what to were them. those called? Uh, um, oh man, I can't think of them. They were, they were like a sandal sort of thing. I don't know. I can't. I, never mind. Doesn't matter. Kind of off topic. But no. um, what was the other thing in that video? Uh, naked juice. Oh, the naked juice. I used to think those is... were all healthy. They were supposed to be no no sugar added and all all natural. natural. And apparently false. it's not. False. How did how do these people well obviously they didn't get away with it, but how do they think that they're gonna get away with we <laughs> making should look, these claims? We should go to the store and <laughs> look and see what it says now on the package right. and compare it to what kind of natural. <laughs> sort of. Or natural products. Natural included. in spirit. <laughs> That's what it will say. <laughs> natural in spirit. Um Oh, Kellogg's mini wheats. They claim that I that would like those. Ha- those are those are good. If you went downstairs in our cupboard, admittedly, they're in there. But that was just part of my whole Eden thing. But we don't typically have cereal in our house anyway. But we do have some of those still left. Kellogg's mini wheats. Um, they claimed would help your child's ADHD by like twenty percent, which is. I don't know how they would. How, how would you measure that? that? <laughs> like, You'd have like to. If just you have them... ADHD, that's a diagnosed disorder. So, how would eating a sugary treat cereal cure it by uh, not nineteen percent, not twenty one percent, twenty percent? I mean, maybe the twenty was the average. Maybe, but either way, it was false. I think, like, would they have to? eat just that to prove that that's what did it those I are don't the know. things i, I don't understand. right I, I would love to see the study that's i'm sure that was did it help me while i was eating it i don't know did it i don't know yeah let, let's it's see the study let's see the receipts the for that receipts. claim the tickets according to the baby their tickets if it was proven false they probably didn't have the receipts. i know tom brady didn't like doesn't like many meats Tom Brady doesn't eat anything that's processed. That's a very processed. I'm just saying he said that you're like people are poisoning their kids with. I don't know the other things, but I know mini wheats was on there. Oh, oh yeah, no. I'm Frosted sure. Flakes. Maybe it was Frosted Flakes. Yeah. Most most cereals are absolute trash for you. Yeah. They're not good. I know. Shame yeah. on me. I know I shouldn't eat it, but Some I are did. good. Some are good. No. But you got to make sure that it's like. Even granola isn't good for you, really. Mm-hmm. It has yeah. usually they're high in sugar. Yeah, yeah, right. Any added sugar, most of them have a lot of added sugar. Yeah, yeah. it's it's yeah, it's bad. 
What was the other one? Oh, Listerine Ooh. claimed to be, this one will be good for you, claimed to Ooh. be as, effect, or as effective or more than... Three that. times more effective than brushing and flossing. <laughs> what? That, that's a bold claim. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you all this right now. The mechanical motion on the tooth is what cleans your teeth. I don't care if you're using Doesn't fancy matter. toothpaste. Even I don't if you care don't use toothpaste, it's using. better. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's better. I, if you, it's still there's effective. There's times where there's things. Yes. Honestly, if you're not using it for desensitizing, or I know some mm-hmm. people like the fluoride, some people don't like the fluoride, but depending on what product specifically, you mechanically remove in the bacteria from your teeth, which can be a toothbrush just with some water on it, warm water, soften those bristles a bit, and brushing away, it's about getting the bacteria off. You will still get the bacteria off without any added, you know. The bacteria is the worst part. That's like what you really need to get off. Right. Yes. Yeah. Especially when you have the foods, bacteria eats the food that's left mm-hmm. in your mouth and between your teeth, yep. lets off acid, breaks down the tooth, and the bacteria moves into those little pockets within or the tubercles that increase, and then you get cavities and <clears throat> periodontal yeah. disease, whole nother issue. I can't really get into it. I will tomorrow with my first patient. I'll be like, listen, I've been holding on to this all night, so here we go. <laughs> But there, for Listerine wait, to make that claim, that seems so insane. This is just like the water pick. Now I'm going. Now I'm going off. Oh, Watch oh, out. Oh, she's on a soapbox. Water box. pick. Let me tell you. Or water flosser. <laughs> BS. You still need the mechanical <laughs> motion to clear the teeth. Correct. It is like taking a white plate. This is literally what I tell my patients. So forgive me all if you already heard this. But it's like taking a white plate and you had pasta for dinner and you put it underneath the water. I don't care how your jet stream is. And then you take it out. Is that plate actually clean? Nope. Big stuff is off. That oil, that bacteria that's still on the plate. Yes, there's bacteria in our food, people. There is bacteria in your food. But it's okay because there's bacteria all in us as well. But I'm just saying that that plate is not clean, clean. And you can still see the oil and the grime and whatever. You take that lovely sponge, even if it doesn't have soap on it. If you take it and mechanically remove the stuff and then you go and give it a rinse. It's nothing more effective than mechanical scrapage. I would like to mechanically scrape your teeth. (laughs) I'm fired up. (laughs) <laughs> so a wa- water picks are great because also when you're brush, you floss, floss, brush. Technically, really, it doesn't matter. The whole dental world wants you to floss first, then brush. But honestly, what? in Who the... Who does that? This is... This that is seems kind what, of stupid. You know what? In the, the ideal world, you would floss, brush, floss, and then... Right. You know, but they say floss first because it loosens up the stuff so that the brush can go and clean out more of the area i guess okay whatever and then you would use your water pick last (laughs) to shoot off all of the free debris that you mechanically just removed you can remove it and still needs to get blasted away or you use your mouth rinse or even just water you can rinse with water you don't need anything fancy listerine alcohol is not good for your mouth it dries out the tissues so it's it's a big scam bro if you have dry mouth that night don't use a listerine or something with um, or a mouth rinse. I shouldn't say listerine, but a mouth rinse with alcohol in it. Anyway, let's get off that because we can be here for no, a couple but it, days. It, it is scary to think of like how much stuff that we have in our lives that is considered good for you or, or they healthy. tell you, yeah. But if you really look into it, it's like, mm, mm-hmm. I don't know if that's true. But it, it's all it all stems from just corporate greed. Mm-hmm. Well, mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Or just somebody on what the internet is going to saying s- something. Yeah. Well, no, but the, like we're talking about these companies are oh, the straight up and the water making picks. claims that are not true. Yes. To sell a product. Just like when the water picks, I feel like started coming out. So that was a big thing. And then all of a sudden this study went out saying floss does nothing for you. And then patients would come in and be like, I'm not going to floss anymore. Because right. And, and that's out. not true. That, that, Right. The thing was, if they actually read the whole article, because you know I was all nose deep in that. But if you actually read the article, it stated that it was inconclusive because there was no study that went on long enough. Right. That was actually like a controlled study. Mm-hmm. 
and there was no control study. And so my patients would study, say, basically. well, what do you think? And I said, why don't you stop flossing? I'm going to floss and we'll see who eats steak in the nursing home right here. I've yep. seen people that floss. I've seen people that don't. And I'll tell you, it doesn't work out well for those who don't. But or I mean, I guess genetics. Some people are very lucky, too. Oh, of course. They don't have to worry about those things. Yeah. Am I awkwardly looking at you yet? <laughs> anyway. No, but at the same time, I think it's important that we. And this is a whole nother discussion, but I think it is important that we do write have, it down for next week. Boo boo. We do have um, alternate opinions, whether they are true or not, but opinions that we can consume and decipher for ourselves and decide for ourselves. Oh yeah, yeah. What we want to believe think- or 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 adopt for our own lives. I think that it's good to have that freedom, and that goes. That's like a whole freedom of speech. This is, spiel that this I don't is, want to get into right now. Also, but also why when I'm telling patients, this is this is what I know. This is the education that I have. This is what I've actually seen in practice. This is like good, bad, that whole mm-hmm. water pick thing that I just went through, the floss and the brush and all that good stuff. But I'm like, my conscience in my eyes is clear just as long as I share what I know right. with you and you choose. It is your, Do what you your want, life bro. is your <laughs> like what pick your own adventure book essentially yep. so you pick whether you want to do it but just don't get mad at me later on if they're like oh i got these huge cavities or my tooth broke blah 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 because i didn't do this that the other thing you know what i mean yeah. i'm like you cannot go and be like do you know how many grown adults like grown adults that are even in retirement these they're like nobody ever showed me how to floss my teeth welcome to my chair because i will show everybody right if you can do your part and and, and- McCulloch knows. One of the patients goes, "Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to floss." To McCulloch, and he's like, "And you've seen Pam?" <laughs> like, don't. that's obviously not. And true. the person starts laughing. He said he was going to tell Alex that, <laughs> and that uh, he he never heard that he was supposed to floss before. Yeah. And he's like, "And you've seen Pam?" You no. Lot. I'm like, mm-hmm. "Why are you he always lying?" Yeah. I was like, "He knows if anything, he gets." <laughs> it's like, <laughs> "Please stop, <laughs> Pam. Stop with the floss." No, but that's good. Like, you know, you just voice your opinion and people don't want to re- receive it and oh yeah adopt it who cares it doesn't affect you yep and when i review home care if it's somebody that i've seen multiple times i'm like oh brush in flossing and then i'll be like do you want to hear about the floss or are you good and they're like oh pam i know what you're gonna say i'm like yeah uh, okay all right well. let's continue on our day i don't want to be the guy at the mall that like tries to pull you right. let me buff your let me, nails let me let me, let me buff cram your nails. this down your throat so yeah. that you get like even Buy more it. more uh anti whatever i'm saying right yeah. exactly and then even like the little samples people will be like oh i don't want the floss i'm like all right they're okay. like you're gonna let me walk out without floss yeah it's your teeth i'm not gonna follow you home and make sure you use it one of my patients funny enough now now we're getting into the dental world see i told this oh was boy. a book you shouldn't have opened so- i tried to i tried to close it but <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't get it closed during the power <laughs> outage she posted on facebook that she was making tea her tea during the power outage and so she i think she cooked water on like a a wood stove or something okay and then she made a makeshift like oh it was her coffee it was coffee because it wasn't a tea bag so she took the coffee filter and Mm -hmm. she wrapped floss around it and then used it to like a makeshift tea bag and i was like Girl, I'm proud you're using your floss, but I'm not sure that was what I meant by I wanted to <laughs> use that. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's all good. I didn't know you At least I'm that. using it. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> I was like, you know what I want you to do with that after, boo. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so a couple more uh, corporate lies. Uh, we've got Red Lobster made a lobster bisque with an animal called a langostino which i've never heard of before but apparently it's not a lobster it is in the hermit crab family so it's still so a crustacean they're right so their lobster bisque is actually should be called so, langostino bisque or so, maybe hermit bisque so does that mean that <laughs> can you add like is there a lobster seasoning or something to make it taste like lobster uh, or i don't know i have no idea imagine all those people. I'm, I'm assuming by the way that 
this was all stuff that was discovered that's since been changed. They oh, probably yeah, yeah. still don't currently make. Maybe they do, I think, but I, I think would it assume has to be they would have changed like 50% that. Fifty percent in order for it to be advertised okay. as something. So, so that it would could have be had to at least have 50% of lobster in there. So maybe it didn't. That could be the case as well. Again, we got this from Facebook news. Um, Totally unverified uh, facts. We're going to have to do more verification next (laughs) Right. We're just going by this random video we watched. Uh, If we're wrong, please correct us in the comments. This is a free speech area, right? Yeah. We won't get mad. We'll go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Correct us if we're wrong. Um, And I've been working hard getting caught up on all the comments yeah and i was even no comments for like three years ago i just kept going now it's my personal goal to get all the comments that were ever commented on crazy dreamers like, every single comment like ever. everybody needs to get replied to that's gonna be a lot i know during the power outage if we didn't have the baby i'd be like drop me off at the mcdonald's with the free wi-fi and pick <laughs> me up in three days i'll be done <laughs> it takes a lot longer than you think i'm like i'll do this for an hour and then i look and i've done like 25 comments i'm like oh it is. It is a lot. Anyway, keep going because I know we got. Uh, I think wrap we it just up. got. We got one more. Just one more uh, corporate lie. Um, and I think this one. This one was pretty well known. But Subway. Subway had. Um, For the record, I don't like Subway bread. Subway. I feel like it's too smushy or something. Uh, Subway sucks. I'll just be real. Subway sucks. Not um, enough meat. Not enough meat. I like it my it meat. tastes super fake, and that's because. Number one, their tuna, and again, this might have been changed since, or it, it might not be true at all. I don't eat tuna, so I don't know. But their tuna has been claimed to contain zero DNA from a tuna. So <laughs> I want to know who actually was like, you know what we're going to test their we're, DNA of? The, t- let's, the tuna. Let's spin this DNA, this uh, Subway meat in the, uh, the, the, the DNA machine. Yeah, and, exactly. And be like, I wonder, like, and did they go out into the ocean and like, hello, Mr. Tuna, could we have a bit of your DNA? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> or I guess there's plenty of tuna like at the store, but I'm just saying like. Right. Hmm. And then the other thing, which is t- I totally believe their chicken is made with um, a lot of soy fillers. It was like, which, what, 50% soy? Yeah, that's totally believable because their chicken sucks. Like it doesn't even taste like anything. Isn't that soy-ish? Like, yeah. Soy is soy the one that you have to season to give it flavor. Yeah, soy doesn't. Or is really that have, toy? Mm, that might toy-foo. be tofu. That might be tofu. To- but still, toy tofu, tofu. But still, if it's tofu. a filler, it's not yeah. going to taste like anything. It's just going to oh. add volume. Oh, all right. And soy, I I think soy has protein in it, so that would soy be soy is like, protein. Right. So it still has the protein. Oh, amounts. you're saying a post, but and so a, does tofu. Right, it's supposed to be a protein right replacement, not replacement supplement. I'm not but sure. I would assume the reason they do that is because number one, it's probably cheaper. I, and again, I don't know. I'm just assuming it's cheaper than having chicken, and also it probably stays um, fresher longer. Yes, they were saying yeah. that. Depending on where you go get breakfast, that a lot of places will add pancake batter to their scrambled eggs to make them like fluffier, I okay. guess, and make more of them. So, I mean, pancake I guess batter. I don't know. I don't know about that one. You'll have to try it. Yeah. Stay tuned for Ryan's cooking lesson. Throw pancake batter in the eggs. I feel like that would just be. Well, not throw it. Place it and mix it gently. Mm. I, don't I don't know how don't much, how but that that's what I look it up. No, I, I believe know. I believe what you're saying, I, but. That's what I heard. And what was the other thing Jeez. about their bread? It was like their bread is oh. more similar to a cupcake than actual bread. <laughs> I don't really know what that means. If it just means that they have like a lot of sugar in the bread. Facebook news told us this. But interestingly enough, that guy, Jared, I know Jared's not a good guy. The subway guy? Yeah. Oh, but remember how he lost all that weight? And then I'm thinking if you had like the sub whether it's a six inch or a 12 inch and you put lined up all those cupcakes Five. along there. So it's like he ate that many cupcakes $5. for every meal a day. And then he still lost weight. $5 foot long. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't buy that. I don't Somebody. buy that either. What? The whole, Oh, I lost all this weight because of subway. Give me a break. He probably lost the weight because 
he would go out to subway like once a day and then he'd hide in his basement do all those bad things he wasn't supposed to be uh, doing and then he'd poke back up like a groundhog maybe speculation guy's a loser that's not facebook news that's just came out of pam's crazy dreamer head crazy nightmare head no but yeah so that's that's your corporate lies for for today yes the ones that basically uh the interest in things that may or may that, not be that real run our, run our country as a whole nother dis- discussion as well dot, dot. but um yeah so <sighs> i'm excited that we have power so i'm gonna go take a shower <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit of a long day maybe hasn't been going down as smoothly the past couple of nights this was a fun episode though we had, yes. we had some good conversation. Banta. Good. Yeah. Bloke. You, <laughs> you, you top bloke. You top bloke. You top. <laughs> <laughs> you and your British accent. Top bloke. Mm, I don't think that hits at home either. I might. You top bloke. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> top bloke. Bloke. Is that it? Mm. Top bloke. Give him a rating from one to ten. How is ten my being accent there? The worst and one being the best british accent i i can't do it i can't no go okay. ahead keep you got to give them like something Top to bloke thank you for watching oh, this okay. episode of this podcast po- podcast <laughs> that's hard that's hard to do i think i like doing or trying or pretending that i can do an irish accent more than irish yeah irish is even harder they're I don't know. It's they odd. they like, it's like a. Uh, I used to try to do it when I'd read books out loud to myself to like or, practice accents. Or Scottish, Scottish. That one's hard. That, that one's, one's like hard. a real harsh uh, one. But that one. Your grandfather, grandfather was uh, from Scotland. It would probably Scottish make me accent. cry. I love Scottish accents. I feel like, the, you know, what I would like is like somebody to read a book. With a Scottish accent, it would probably like put me to sleep, but in a nostalgia, like happy, like little kid, like. Mm. That's pretty wild to think about. I never even thought of that. Like Look, your grandfather was. On my mother's side was from Scotland. Scottish, like from there, like born, accent, raised, born, raised. Scottish your, scarred. Well, Scott scarred is what they call it. And then your father is British, still is living there. Born, raised. Born and living. raised. Yes. Still currently living, so. Yeah, you, I you really have like that strong island. Strong ties to the the UK, yeah. Yes, you like that island. It's a bit. Yeah. Now I'm like, can I try to talk British? But I feel like I got to try it off the air and British. then come back and be like, yeah, like if what? I'm like, oh, fish and chips. I'm like, wait, that doesn't really sound <laughs> British. It's hard. It is practice. hard to do the. But accent. we went, and my cousins are like. I think it was Paul. He's like, are you going to talk with your British accent? I'm like, no, I don't got one of those. I feel like it's easier to do if you're in the element. Like when you're, well, if we yeah, were there. You listening mimic. To, right. You mimic. But yeah, being but here just and to just do it, to, Just to do it doesn't work as like, well. Mm, that was good. A little bit. That was good. Yeah. Well, it's my jeans and it's just, it's not the same for you. For not you. the I can't. same. Yeah, that was pretty good. But I don't know. And I feel like my chair just got really hot. <laughs> Your chair got very high. Your chair was good. Yeah. yeah, earlier it was not good. <laughs> Your sister does it pretty well. My sister's great at doing a British accent. So. And then people say that I sound like Southern anyway, so I feel uh, like that kind of... I always thought that was super too. weird. I thought you were from the South when I first met you. No. You have a Southern accent. But then you accent. said that I sound like auntie too, so... Yeah, in like certain you're instances, like, oh, you but speak similar. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I come yeah. from Southern New Hampshire. When people are like, <laughs> "Are you from the South?" Yeah, Southern New Hampshire. Yeah, Southern New Hampshire, born in Britain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, that's not it either. Yeah. Anyway. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate I'm it. Go take a shower, and then I'm gonna go to bed and dream those sweet little dreams that I like to dream. And hopefully we'll have some more content of kind of day in the life or adventures Mm -hmm. coming up soon, I think. You're going to put out some more Thrift Mind vid? Oh, yeah. Coming soon. Yes. Plenty of content. Let's go. Let's do it. Pumping it out. Let's go. I'm not pumping it it. out. He said we, but I'm not (laughs) at all. I'll be 
practicing my accent in the back practicing my accent that's what we should do is do a british like british accent like episode part of the line <laughs> and just like episode. don't say anything just like talk in a british accent british. or attempt of and then see if anybody notices <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the british crazy dream uh crazy i can't crazy dream it dreamers podcast you know what podcast. You, you have to tell dave to like say it's hard some stuff and yeah. then you can just mimic it after and have it recorded mm. anyway okay we really right. gotta go this is almost an hour long Good night. go do other Goodbye. fun things thanks for people. watching go do stuff keep dreaming keep and dreaming we'll you crazy little dreamers one. and i don't know ryan really wants to go back to europe uh Lovely jubbly. What the heck is a jubbly? <laughs>